Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. A man's world, that's what I'm talking about today. They say it's a man's world. Many not just believe it, they claim it to own it and continue to perpetrate evil against the women folk. Nowhere is this primitivity more prevalent than in good old Nigeria, the deluded self-described giant of Africa. The heinous crimes of rape and battery, including domestic violence against women, are so common they do not raise eyebrows. Walking a dog recently in the so-called affluent neighborhood of Ikui, on Queen's Drive precisely, a good friend was confronted and harassed and subjected to degrading treatment by a lout. Here, filmed for you. He has been following me for four streets. I just yes. want to walk my me, dog. So that you can post my picture, yes. Can you speak to him? Yes. My name is Odom Baku Ayodeji from Ogun State. <laughs> As for your sister or your friend. <laughs> yes, ah, uh, what? Uh, yes, now. Say, I'm going to lie for you. I don't go lie. I don't know about me. Please, can you leave me alone? I can never leave you alone. I don't know you. I can never leave you alone. Bye. Love you. That passers-by tried to lead the young man away from his assault did not move the beast. He made lewd remarks and gestures to someone he had never met before. He said he was happy to go viral, so here I oblige him that wish. I don't want to who you be for this Nigeria. That's what I hear my son with. Oh, you see, forget that I was saying who you be. And I she go tell me say she don't marry. Never tell me say she don't marry. We are not having a conversation. I've been telling you to stop follow me. How does marriage enter it? Please, can you tell him that I'm married? Yes. Since 20 minutes, he has been following me on yes. the streets. I'm following you, not for anything. Not for anything. On a Sunday morning. Sunday morning, yes. <laughs> to go to church, yes. See that to go to church, yes. See, everybody has told you on the street. Guy, guy, guy. Wait, you said Barack like this. You said Barack like this. Big Mac, poor Big Mac, you know you're going to big Mac. They go. For you. No, this guy wants a great example. Now, now she tell me, say she don't marry. Now, she never tell me, she don't marry. Now, when this sort of behavior prevails and goes unchecked, it escalates. This man is essentially already a rapist or a bachelor with a volatile mind. If he believes this was good fun or acceptable behavior, then he is a deviant in need of medical attention and a jail sentence. Our laws on these matters are not being enforced. Young girls under teenage are sexually assaulted by domestic staff, relatives, and whoever. It is rampant and goes unchecked. Victims are silent and damaged. Perpetrators are emboldened. Let us increase the tempo of our fight against this harassment and infringement of the female rights to decency and decent life. Let's always remember our mothers, sisters, and daughters, and how we would like others to treat them. Let the maximum force of the law be brought to bear on offenders. I suggest castration and removal of the sexual organ as a first punishment, along with a jail term. Hi. <laughs> it's thing it's already again, been huh? done in Kaduna, right? It's already passed into law in Kaduna. We're not yes. sure of the first case yet. Yes. No, no, no. no but they say castration is not the same thing as the removal of the organ itself. That's yes. why I, there, that's two, why there are two, there are two different things, things medically. In fact, so I've added that bit so that it, we it, know it must be completed and then you go to jail. Mm. In, in a jurisdiction where you already have this law, mm. um, 
they had incidences of repeat offenders after yes. castration. Yes. That is because castration does not make you not to have an erection. Yes. It only reduces your libido. Yes. So people have been known to still commit the crime even after castration. Yeah. But my, my, my take on this matter is that it seems as if 95% of our efforts are focused on sanction and punishment. Can we also begin to look at what can we do to prevent? Mm. You know, because that man in that video is a, it's a pervert. And you know, he was happy doing it. He was enjoying it. He was enjoying it. It's the and abuse of power. The, yeah, just for being you know, a man. Man's so word, you, pray, you, know, you just man, pray on any woman you see. Charge. Mm. Yes. And in charge. And you know, it, it's, um, it, it's, it's sickening seeing a thing like that. And then, uh, especially when you have sisters, you have you know, daughters. daughters, and you imagine the kind of society. You know, sometimes it can drive you mad and you want to, you know, commit murder, murder yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. because it's, it's, it's really, it's really sickening. And, and, you know, I look at the boldness and the authority with the, which... It's the same size in all of us, as, as exactly. you said. Yes. Exactly. You it's just feel, thing. look, at this point, at this moment, I have more power. I'm going to abuse it. I'm going yeah. to take advantage of this woman. That's it. I'm just going to molest her. Yes. And nothing is going to happen. You know, it's, it's, it has to stop. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It doesn't make you a man when you do that. That's not how a man is. It's supposed is. to be defined. Yes, that's not how a man is. Come on. So well, that is how a lot of men think ah. that that's, <laughs> that's my <laughs> mind. That that's it. He mm. said, for what he has done, he is actually... I, I think really it's, you know? um, so. it's all a lack of leadership. Because um, when there are consequences for action, there are certain things you do, the instrumentality of the law will be immediately activated against you. And so that will deter people. But here you do it and then you go scot-free. You even say you're happy going viral. And then for assaulting somebody... Yeah. He doesn't even know. know it is wrong. He's, he's, a, he's he a pervert. Has, he had no idea. For me, for me I, think parenting, I, think I think parenting needs to be brought to, to board here. Trust me, parenting. Mm -hmm. Because um, the values and the family culture that is built into you, we actually grow with you. That's the truth. No matter how distracted you are while you are growing up, there is something fundamental and foundational about parents giving some cultures and values with you. I mean, to you, in the nearest future, there's no way you always retrace. So parenting needs to be questioned here. Trust me. Well, after the break, I speak to the effects of bad leadership.